They're showing us right now how much force they're going to use in order to push this pipeline through. This is our home. We need that. We need access to our road. They're using a two by four with an injunction stapled on it and using that to forcibly remove indigenous peoples off our land. There's two vehicles and sometimes three vehicles on this side of us. So we're pretty well surrounded. Then we have those surveillance towers positioned at us from inside the man camp fenced area. This just seems completely over the top. People just um, walking in public are being captured. We don't even know if they're listening to us, recording us, able to distinguish who we are in live time. It's very problematic to have the state or um, corporate subcontractors doing this kind of level of surveillance on us. I'm really glad that we were able to come here in person in order to witness for ourselves uh, the setup and how creepy it is. Uh, it looks to me and it feels to me like there's a real deliberate intimidation uh, attempt. Tiny House Warriors, our Sokotmuk land defenders, have been here for three years. This is the connection that we have with our lands and we're here to protect it and we're not going anywhere. We'll be here forever till the end of time. Sokotmuk have been here since forever and we're never going anywhere. They can't remove us from our lands.